everybody. Welcome back. I am Marnie Ginsberg and I have my second grade reading star here to help us today. We are going to show you one short thing to help make um, your students accelerate in a faster rate in their reading. What we're going to do is show you how to give word level feedback as he reads a book. A book that he's chosen. He's very excited about it. And then we are going... We won't do the second book. Okay. So okay. we'll do that one book, and all I'm going to use is this little notch card and a pencil. These are my main tools to help ensure that he gives, gets the cues for how to um, recognize words he's not finding easy on his own. And what I want you to see is if you give this feedback that he's not just learning the, the one word that I'm giving feedback on, but he's learning how to attack words in a better way so that it's a generative strategy. In other words, it's something that will pay off for future words. So for a stage while a child is learning to read, giving kind of nitpicky feedback um, where they really are forced to hone in on sound symbol connections makes a big difference. And this notch card is especially helpful to help with the blend as you read approach, which is a key strategy that we teach with the activity Read It, which you can find all about on our blog, readingsimplified.com, if you go to start here. And the notch card also helps with um, the blend as you go, blend as you read approach for multi-syllable words, and you'll notice that I believe as we get started. So let's get right into listening to our second grade student read, and notice how the feedback that I give can help him in the future, and not just for these words. I'm going to turn the screen around in hopes that you guys can see it in the proper way. Let's see. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Get started. And by the and by the way, other way. And by the way, and by the way, subscribe above. Yay! And not below because this is Facebook. Everything's a mirror image. <laughs> That's not how you laugh. Okay. Hello. Better. This is the story of the return of the first Avenger. Steve Rogers want want. Once, wait, 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 what? You recognize this word, I bet. Was, was, it wasn't, nice, always a superhero, and he wasn't always known as da 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 Captain America. Nice. This is like, how I, I know it looks weird right now, but don't worry. Steve took part in a very special army experiment mm -hmm. nice. called Project Rebirth. I know that sounds like really weird. I, that just sounds weird. It makes it, sense to them. They're, they're it, hanging with you. It it turns it turned Steve from stick. What's that word again? Thin. Yo, we got thin over here, but what? I didn't quite catch what you said here. Sick. Uh huh. So it turns Steve from sick. Uh huh. Okay. And thin to big and strong. Yes, it did. My gosh, look at those abs. Steve Rogers became our. Uh. Uh, mm, er. Um, For the first chunk, uh, uh, second chunk, mer. It looks like a mer, but this could also be this weird word, air. Air. Um. Air. A mer. It could also. Steve America's nice first super soldier. Mm -hmm. Those things are. Keep going. Keep going. He was known. He was now known nice. as Captain America, the first Avenger. That is just awesome. Captain America fought the ju he fought for justice with the. Now yeah, you're covering it for me. Can you uncover it? How? How? Howling. Nice. Come. Mm -hmm. Come. And come at. 
Com does. Good try. Let's try. Um, Commander. Oh, command. Doors. That's the chunk. Doze. It's kind of weird. Commandos. The Howling Commandos. <laughs> he fought for justice with the Howling Commandos. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Again. Against the mm -hmm. evil red skull, by the way, aka Hydra. Mm -hmm. He fought against them and. And he. Hit. His. He. He. This could be he try I. Hydra. Mm -hmm. I, I just said that, geez. <laughs> now you know Army, how it looks. Hydra, oh my he, gosh. He fought against him and his Hydra. Army. Okay. That's a Hydra right there. I think. I'm, I'm not sure. Nicely done. Okay, let's just take a break. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what's going on? Mm, yeah. Can you but, tell us what's happening in the well, story? Well, basically, this is about World War... I'm thinking two or one. Mm -hmm. I guess, like, two or two. Mm -hmm. Probably. And you can see the tank in the background, and I think, let me just look at that gun for one second. So what's uh, happening in the story? Just tell us, just the gist, or the very basics of what you ha what you learned. Something happened with this Captain guy, Steve. America, Steve Rogers used to be thin, like a normal guy, and then he got big and strong. Then he like, oh my gosh, you can really see that right there. He just like slapped him with that. Yeah, right with his special shield. shield. Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, if you've seen the new movie Captain America vs. Iron Man, there are, for your kids, there are Nerf guns. Like, there's Captain America's arm. Mm hmm. Just slide that back and then poof. That sounds shoot. like fun. And there's also, um, there's Captain America's shield. Like, mm -hmm. it's just like. Mm -hmm. And then you just like press something in it, and then it turns into a gun, and then it can be like, poof, poof, mm -hmm. poof. That, that's like so cool. And then there's also like the gauntlet, like a small gauntlet, and, it can be, and if you want to see the video for that, that is on Nerf Boy's channel YouTube. Sounds so cool. All right, let me just take a quick break. And um, no, that's fine. So thank you for listening to our young student. I'm going to work with him a little bit more, but I just wanted to point out to you how cool it is that he is really enthralled with these books, right? Mm -hmm. I, I, I might be reading you know. Frog and Toad with him or um, Henry and Mudge, but these are the books that he's picked out, and I think it's making a lot of difference. He's gotten past the point where he's been working on advanced phonics and doing an activity called Sort It to really learn all the spellings of, say, the O sound like O-A, as in both and OW as in show and O as in go and so now he's getting into real books and the fact that he's choosing this is making it a lot more fun we're going to keep reading and I'm going to learn some pretty cool stuff I bet about Captain America and I hope you guys saw that just a little notch card and a pencil can help tune the students into the, the precision of the word and noticing the inside parts and helping them break it down by chunk um, or by syllable so that is a secret for making sure that not only does this young fella do well with this book, but that he'll continue to get better and better with other books because he's got a really strong sound symbol word attack strategy. So if you want to learn more about these kinds of things, please go to readingsimplified.com. As my friend said, you can also turn on notifications here at Facebook so you're alerted any time that you um, that we're going to go live, like Alexis probably was. Thank you for being here again, Alexis. And if you have any questions, of course, we'll, we, I'd love to talk about um, your concerns about reading. And then finally, do you have a friend who is interested in learning more about how to make reading even better? Um, then send them our way. Maybe tag them in this post or send them to readingsimplified.com. Our mission is to streamline reading instruction for classroom teachers so it's not so crazy. You can um, have some more free time and then also at the same time accelerate your students' learning. So thanks for being here. Yeah, my oh, he's going to press the little buy button.